Good day crew. This is just a little short addendum to last week's video. I realised that after I put it up on YouTube and was looking at it that I hadn't said anything about the gear I was using. I thought that might be of interest to some people. So I've got a Shimano Sienna rods. Both of these are Shimano Sienna rods and a little Shimano reel on it. Uh, what is it? It's a 4000 size and other than that I'm not sure. Oh, hang on, there it is. Katana by the looks of it. Anyway, it's just a cheap reel, cheap rod. They were on special when I bought them. Now, this one's got 10 pound braid on it and a bit of 20 pound leader. Because that was the only leader I had at the time. And it's got this Nomad lure. Forget what it's called. It's a deep diver, as you can see from the bib on it. This one's got the trebles on it. I have been changing them out for singles, but this one got on the boat with the trebles on it. I hadn't got around to changing it. And when I lost the first lure, I just put it on with the trebles because I didn't have any singles to change over on the boat. And it caught fish. Seemed to be just as good as the other lure with the singles. So I don't know if it makes much difference. I'll have to use both for a while and see what works. So maybe one's better than the other. The other thing I'll just mention on this is those two red bands across the rod. I do that on my rods so they know what weight line I've got on there. Each band is worth five pounds. This is a 10 pound braid on here so I've got two bands on it. Otherwise you get all your rods looking much the same. The braids are all pretty thin these days. It's hard to know what size you got on. So I say that's what I do. I get some heat shrink and just put that on the rod. You could use paint or whatever. Uh, just something to mark it so you remember what's on it. Because the number of people I've had out in the boat and I've said to them, what weight line have you got on? I can't remember anyone that's actually known. They said, oh, I don't know, something. <laughs> so I think it's important to know because I will set my drags accordingly. Anyway, let's have a look at the other rod. Now, as I said, this is the same sort of rod, Shimano Sienna. Uh, I think it's got the same reel, same reel, Katana, Shimano Katana, and it will also be in the 4000 size. But this one has 15 pound braid on it. Keeping with what I just said, there's three bands, 5, 10, 15. Just a reminder so I know what rod I'm picking up. Now this is a uh, river rat lure. Again, it's a deep diver. Uh, this one I've changed over for single hooks. The leader again is 20 pound because that's what I had. It's tied on to the braid with an FG knot and this has just got a loop knot on it. Actually, I don't know what I've done there. I might have, I might have actually tied that one on by the looks of it. The other one's got a loop knot on it. So I might have actually tied that one on by the looks of it. That's the gear I was using. And I can't really afford to have a rod for all, every occasion. All of my gear has to do double duty or triple duty. I've got you know, half a dozen rods, I guess. But if you had a rod for every occasion, you'd probably need two dozen. I know blokes that have got them, just not me. I might, however, next time I see some rods on special rods and reels, I might even have a spare reel, but next time I see a rod on special, I might get another one and put some uh, 10 pound braid on it because I've just got a feeling that the 10 pound braid is going to get the lures down deeper so I want to go a bit lighter maybe even 8 pound of course the other thing I could do is put the downrigger down a little bit and also have the deep diver lure trolling back that'll get it down a bit deeper still and if I'm in some deeper areas that might be worth doing Put the downrigger down five metres, say, and let the deep diving lure go down another five or six, and then have the other rod out the other side, just trolling normally. Anyway, that's in the future. Now that I've had my first success, I'm going to spend a little bit more time doing it. I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoy trolling, actually. Very relaxing. Anyway, that's it for a short video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. And until next time, good fishing.